everybody. Here we are, Sunday, May 24, 2020. And uh, we did a, we recorded a video last year um, with our sweet potatoes video. But we, uh, what we didn't do was show you from the beginning what it looked like. So we thought this is what you'd like to see. So this is the, on the right there are Vardaman and the, on the left are Georgia Jet. And we got those from Burpee and replanted those. And uh, Kathy did most of the work as usual, but I helped her bring all the dirt down. It had to be about 700 pounds of dirt, uh, compost, uh, basically uh, organic, all organic here. And um, so here they are. Uh, they were planted yesterday afternoon in mounds. And uh, we got some rain last night too to help them out because you always want to give them some water uh, right away because they've been in water but anyway I got a little surprise but this is what we first planted but I'm gonna pause it just for a second here I want to show you something else hi I'm back so this what you're looking at is another row that we planted behind these this, this fence here we had the pumpkins here last year and I think cucumbers as well this is what we did we took one sweet potato stuck it in water with some toothpicks and it grew shoots and uh, it this we actually uh, put it in a in some paper and took it all the way to Arizona and it sat there and it just kept this shooting out these slips and it just got amazing <laughs> and it got so big that we had to cut them off when we decided to drive back to Chicago we uh, Kathy put them in some more newspaper and, uh, and wrapped them up in really nice and brought them back here to Chicago here to Campton Hills and these are planted from last year. These are the slips that uh, grew out of the uh, the sweet potato that we had that we had put in the jar with the water. And anyway, so we planted these to see what happens. And let's hope these are. I think jardiman as well. Uh, if that's not true, I'll I'll correct the record later. But uh, so this is what we're doing. We've got three now. So anyway, I wanted to get this on video so we could see what it looks like at the very very beginning and this is just uh, very exciting so so here's what we propagated ourselves and over here as I showed you earlier this is from the other side of the garden is what we planted from burpee so let's see what happens and I don't know maybe August September August September you know we're gonna uh, harvest earlier this year I think we waited too long last year so this year we're going to do it a little bit earlier so uh, I'll check in every other week or so and see how they're doing all right see you later hello everybody after one inch of rain June 10th 2020 these are the sweet potatoes and just thought I'd check in and uh, let you know what they look like okay the vardaman are on the right mm -hmm. and the Georgia jet are on the left all right that's excellent here we are, July 5th, 2020, and here are the sweet potatoes. This is what they look like about now. They're doing just fine. We think there's a cucumber patch right next to it over there. The other side, uh, the sweet potatoes that we propagated ourselves is doing okay. Not so well as these, but we'll check on those another time when they get a little bit better looking. But this is, again, July 5th, 2020. Okay, this is July 14th. I was going to wait a couple more weeks, but I was so pleased in how this came out, how they looked, that I just wanted to show just a couple of weeks and how much they grow. Now, we did pull out those cucumbers or pumpkins. We didn't know what they were. They weren't flowering, so, you know, we're not... We pulled them out. We want to make sure that these do well. And... Uh, let me show you something else here too. Hold on. Okay, these are the propagated sweet potatoes, the ones that we grew out of the actual uh, sweet potato itself, and replanted, propagated them, repropagated. I don't know how do you how do you say that. But anyway, look at them growing. They're doing really well. Um, I think that's another uh, pumpkin there. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. These are growing a little bit behind on the other ones, but they're growing. 
and they're going to do well. So thought I'd show you that as well. All right. Hello, everybody. It's September 14th, Monday, 2020, and these are the sweet potatoes. And we're going to harvest these probably next week. But I thought I'd do a quick video here. Looks great. Uh, and the other ones are are over there. It's real muddy right now, so I can't get over there uh, today because we had a lot of rain. But I'll get pictures of those too. So um, let me put it let me put it on hold and come back. All right, we're back September 14, 2020, and this is the other side. These are the propagated sweet potatoes, and they look fantastic. And uh, taking one last look at these before we harvest these next week, and um, we'll vi uh, videotape that as well. Hi everybody, here we are, September 23rd, 2020, and this, these are the sweet potatoes, and we're ready to harvest today. We have the Vardman on the right, we have the Georgia Jet on the left, and I'm going to walk quickly over here, I know the camera's going to shake, 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 and over here, these are the propagated um, Vardman, Vardman, right, Kath? Vardman. Vardman that we planted we propagated ourselves over the winter by taking a sweet potato and putting it in water and it grew slips and look at this this is very very good so we're going to uh, harvest all these and what we're going to do is we're going to take one vardaman we're going to cut the slips off and we're going to take one georgia jet and we're going to clip the slips off that as well and we're going to come back and show it to you, and we're going to dig it up and see what happens. It's like Christmas morning, right? Oh, boy. So uh, next thing you'll see will be just that. Okay, so here we are back again. Now, Kathy and I have uh, uh, cut away these slips from the uh, vertamen and the uh, Georgia Jet. This is the vertamen here. Var sorry, vertamen there and look at the Georgia jet if you look closely ah there's some sweet potatoes there so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut into each we're gonna dig into each one and uh, see what happens here what we get I'll leave the video on because we're ready to go and then we're also gonna show you after this we're gonna show you how to cut the slips off and what it looks like um, as we were doing it, we we're thinking, oh, you know, we should have videotaped this. But we'll we'll videotape the next slip that we that we cut off, so you can see how we did that. So, okay, I'm ready. We're going to do the vardaman first, I guess. Here we go. Let me get down here a little bit. Here we go. Oh. When we did this, it was mud. It was mud when we did Yeah, we're, we're doing it a month earlier now because I think we waited too long last time. Hi, Otto. There's Otto. He loves it when we're digging. Yeah, see, I was worried it's going to be a little bit more. I'd rather have this. Really? It's still moist. Look. Yeah, you're right. It is. Otto, if nobody can see if you're in the way. There you go. Boy, there we go. Hear the roots. Yeah. Otto, 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 Otto. Do I have to edit this out, Otto? I don't move. <laughs> I'm going to come to the other side and try All to. Right, here we go. Digging up the potatoes. Digging up the potatoes. With a dog. A puppy. A puppy. Oh, He's only seven months old. Murphy's in the hospital getting medication, so he'll be back later today. One. I can't see too well with this phone. Okay. Let's see, if I can pull him up. see if we can pull it up with our hands. Wow. Gotta get a grip here. Wow, wow. Oh man. Whoa, not bad. 
What do you think? <laughs> not bad. They're not too shabby, as we like to say out here in Chicago. Not too shabby. <laughs> this one's split, it got so big. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, I love it. This one's pretty perfect. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, they break when you pull them out. That don't matter. It doesn't matter. We get out what you this can. This one's starting to sprout. Oh, yeah. Already. Yeah. Some new growth. Yeah. So it's a good timing to get them out of here. That's really nice. Okay, so we're going to shut down a minute. No, no, no. No, no. He just took Oh, I know that. Otto, you can't steal the potatoes. So I'm going to shut it down and we'll go to the other one. All right, now we're back with the Georgia Jet. And uh, I'm making Kathy do all the work here. But after this one, i got to get to work and help out here after we show you how to cut the slips. These are the Georgia Jets, and uh, you saw what we got with the last ones. Let's see. This is this is a new uh, variety for us, and uh, be interesting to see how different they look. So, talk about the vines and how they grew. Oh, the vines! That's right there. Look at them all. That's just from two plants. Back around. These are probably going to be a different. A little bit different color. The vines actually, if you live in a warm climate, you can put some of these in water and regenerate them and replant them. But if you live in a cold climate, that's not going to work too well. You can use the sweet potato for that, like we did for the other side. Lots of worms in here. Some worms? Worms Lots are good. Lots of worms. Worms are always good. No, he's, he's eating a uh, root. Dogs eat roots. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Boy, okay. oh, it's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh. Like I said, it's like Christmas. Look at these potatoes. Wow. That's just the first two plants. And we got, we hit pay dirt here, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it, hold it up, yeah. Oh, that's just great. All right, what we're gonna do is now stop and then we're gonna set up uh, and we're gonna cut some more, the slips off the plants so you can see how we do that. These are red, more red than the. More red, yeah. The Georgia Jets are more red than the Bartman. Yeah, wow, beautiful. Okay, we're back and uh, Kathy's gonna show you how to Clip the uh, the, stri the slips off the plant, the mother plant. So we'll start with the vardaman. This is a vardaman. First, you locate the mother plant, which is the thick stem, right there. And then you just start cutting. You're gonna see how all these slips just they pull out like vines. That's what they are. And that's what they are. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been told now. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to do this for all of them, and then we're going to come back and dig them out. Oh, maybe we'll do a row at a time. I don't know. We haven't decided that yet, how we're going to do that. Well, my job the last time we did this was to put the slips in the wheelbarrow. But right now I'm filming, so I can't. There it goes. There we are. So these are all, all these over here. These are, vines. These are just vines. There's no potatoes over there. It's just how how far the the vines grew. They grew all the way into the tomatoes. Yeah. Still cutting back. And the dog's in the way. There. This is another mother plant right there. Oh. 
Look at that. Boy, that's a lot there. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's one plant. And then you begin to see, as you get closer, you can see the mother where the potatoes are. And sometimes you pull away a lot of the, the one next to it, too. We've learned that, too. So Because they're all over the place. So you pull them out, you'll be pulling out other plants as because they all mingle together, they all grow together. There's no way to differentiate. No, you can't tell. Although we did notice that the Georgia jet leaves were dying out first. Yes. Which might tell us that maybe we should uh, harvest those a couple of weeks before. Okay, so that's right how... Here, yeah. we have two mother plants. Yeah. They were planted kind of close together this year for no particular reason. Well, just because you want to know, I'm going to turn off the camera and uh, we'll let you take a look at this one too. All right, here we are. Beautiful earthworm. Earthworm. We actually have two plants here. We didn't know that, but now we do. Okay. There's another one. Another one. This looks pretty big. This, oh, look at that one there. Isn't that nice? Yep. It's really cool when they all come out at once. They don't always. It's just really cool when they do. Yep. Have to dig down maybe a little bit to see if we've missed anything. I see one. I don't know if that's from the next plant. It must be. I don't. This one here is from. Yeah. The next okay. Plant. So anyway, you get the idea here. Uh, we dug these out, and we're going to do. What we'll do first now is we'll go back and we'll cut all the slips off, um, at least one row, and then we'll do that row, I guess, or we'll cut all the slips. Any ideas on that, Kath? Um, let's do one row at a time. One row at a time. Okay, so we're going to finish up uh, this vardaman, and uh, we'll check in with you later. Welcome back. Here's the first row. We can see we dug it all up. Took us about, what, a half an hour? I don't know. Yeah. And uh, this is what we got from the first uh, row. A little bit of Georgia Jet in the first box from the first, the other one. But now we're uh, going to do the same thing. Uh, we're going over to the Georgia Jets, and we're going to do the same thing now. We're going to pull out the, uh, uh, the slips there, and we'll check in with you again. Hey, here we are, and we just uh, harvested the second row of Georgia Jet, and this is what we got. As we, uh, first when we started, we didn't see a whole lot, but once we started digging through the whole row, uh, they got better and better and bigger and bigger, and these are beautiful. This is one row of the Georgia Jet. We're very happy about it, and we're going to move on now, and I'll explain that. Okay, I'm back. This is, uh, this is our last row that we need to do. We need to harvest, and we're going we're gonna to cut back the slips, dig them out. We're very excited about this one um, because these were potatoes that we propagated ourselves over the winter. Again, using the one of the sweet potatoes that we put in some water and let the slips grow by themselves. And then we replanted them, one little plant in each mound. And this is what happened. So uh, again, these are vardamin. And um, I think what I'll do is we'll cut them back and then we'll turn it back on and then you can then enjoy the the same thing that we enjoy hopefully some potatoes if not so it was fun trying we'll be back okay we're back and let's see what we have here this is from our sweet potatoes that we planted ourselves and i got a good feeling about it these sweet potatoes were first sprouted in illinois in campton hills and then they were placed in what newspaper when they the slips appeared and they traveled to arizona for the winter and they were put in a glass jar there along with another sweet potato. And here's a photo. Here's a photo of that potato. And then when we came back to Illinois in April, they were pulled out. And a month later, they were ready to plant. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Some of my a little... Oh, look at that. Some of them have split because they yeah. got a lot of water this year. 
but that's pretty amazing that we took a little a little shoot like that put it in water and the the roots we were actually put the we actually put the potato in the water well we did that we did both yeah so there you go okay so we're going to harvest these and uh and uh we'll check in with you later okay we're back these are the vardamins that we propagated ourselves not too bad um this is all trial and error and we'll do this again next year i don't know which variety we'll use but this is what we got out of our row right here it's a little bit shorter than some of the other rows but i think we did well okay so here we go here is the 2020 crop of sweet potatoes, the three at the top are the Georgia Jets, the three at the bottom are the Vardaman. And what we're going to do now is put them in the shed and let them cure for yeah, a week or so. Last year we put them in the house under a heat lamp. Not a good idea. We decided that didn't work too well. So we're going to put it and let them, we don't want to, you don't want to eat them right away. So we want to let them cure in the in the shed and then we'll be able to start eating them very soon so I hope you liked our video um, we had fun doing this and it really didn't take that long a couple hours maybe so uh, don't be afraid to start something like this and uh, if you see this on YouTube if I'd like to see some uh, responses or if you want to make some comments that would be great uh, you know we're kind of novices at this we've only this is our, only our second year doing this so any other advice we can get would be great. So, and we hope we helped you guys out. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. Thanks.